Well, guys, I think this is the end of Persona 5 Royal. Hello, everyone, and I believe this should be the final episode of the Persona 5 Royal Let's Play. It has been over a year in the making, and here we are. Well, uh, I wanted to continue going, but I had to do some, wrap up some chores and shower and shit. Uh, anywho, in the last episode, finally, finally, took on Murugi himself and his persona. And after all that, um, we won. And we're about to witness, I guess, the ending. Also, Akechi's supposed to die. So let's see what happens. Did you see him? Where could Mona, Akechi-kun, and he be? We've literally looked Crap. everywhere. We're all gone. This is our original reality, right? Well, Akechi's probably dead. I believe so, yes. The MetaNav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to LeBlanc. Huh? What's that? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! I wonder what that was about. Hmm? I'm home. You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities, but I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Yeah, we killed a god. Um, have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? Oh god, no. You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked Shit. up since last year. Locked up? Well, I'm in jail, boys. What's going on? What are you guys talking about? Well, I was gonna ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go over his situation? So we got we we got locked up, eh? So he's in juvenile detention. Ah, oh, fucking hell! We couldn't avoid prison. Oof. Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. Well, that sucks. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? I think... I think what really happened, I'll know, and I'll know it's been like proven. But I think after we beat the Holy Grail, we already entered Maruki's reality. You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality, which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki, now it's actually happened? Well, where's Morgana? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality, uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now, what happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. God damn it. Did someone say my name? Ah, oh, thank God. This again! Thank fucking Christ, bro. Recycle gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. God damn it, Getting again? all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that. Oh, uh, but wait. Does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... Yeah, he's six feet under. No, I can't believe Akechi-san's really... 
What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and a catchy is... I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but... Yeah. This truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so... I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? How are we gonna do that? Nice! I'm impressed with the idea. How are we gonna do that? Yeah! We won't put up with this injustice. But what can we do to actually help him get too. out of there? I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case. Where do we even look? There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right! Let's go! We're gonna save our leader no matter what it takes! Yeah. Yeah. Really? Did it work? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but oh. I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shihosan. Oh, sick. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. I already told you there was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not gonna let that happen, you hear me? Tiger's like, well, fuck. I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. We're going after all the social links that I've we I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please, I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see, so that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? Oh, what the fuck? And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. Alright, again, the whole school to agree on You'll it? You'll all agree with me, correct? What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? What? Yeah, that's the kid. We're gonna get the Yakuza involved. Also, you guys know someone in public security, right? Won't you introduce me to him? I have to protect him. Using whatever means necessary. I'll even kill for the kid. I'm begging you. Please, I beg of you, please help me collect enough signatures. I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... he's my best friend! Bro, you barely show up in the story after, like, the Kamashita incident. So basically, the reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us. And now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Won't you please protest the police with me? Please! Please tell me if you know of this young man. I need testimonies from people to this use like the this alleyway where we got like in regards to him. By Shido in. Did he truly look like a boy who would uh, cause yeah. an assault here? There's a discrepancy in the other residents' testimonies in the court decision at the time. Please, you have to remember. A certain young man is faced with a dilemma due to the unjust oppression by the government. 
He is suffering from a crime he did not commit. He is a promising young man who will support this country's future. What justice is there in a country without it being able to save such an individual? This cannot be allowed. Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. Isn't his score amazing? I really want to go up against him, but I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. But I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices, like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. You have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. Please, please help him out. William took off his hat for this shit. Homie's dedicated. Yes, it's thanks to that young man. I would still be trapped in that awful match fixing if not for his support. And now, this honest gentleman is locked up in Juvenile Hall, despite being innocent. This time, I wish to be the one to come to his rescue. Break me out, please. Please. He doesn't belong in juvenile detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the missed practice. Please, let me take just a short break. Uh, coach? No deal. God damn it. But I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. Oh, well, that was easy. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled. Got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you, too. Thank you so much, Coach. Noise. Oh, uh, goddammit, I'm here again. Hi. You escaped the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. Unfortunately, that is, that is the case. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. Oh. The final arcana you have acquired is... The world. Fucking finally, bro. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong and will never trudge a path alone again. There we go. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Yeah, you were only here for like... We only got to like, uh, interact with you for like a month. I, gu I guess I'll see you later. Okay, I'll see you guys in Strikers. Oh, the 13th. Long time no see. Hey, what's up? We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind. It, it's nothing. Uh, no, we literally... Okay, yeah, sure. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. All this just for fucking taking down Shido. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. Glad to hear that. 
To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point, but thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but... I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, Yay. you'll be free to go. Let's fucking go. That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. Let's fucking go. The others did everything they could for you. 90 plus episodes later, I finally get my assault charges dropped. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. And that wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless. The righteous phantom thieves are gone. Until strikers, of course. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Uh, we made a promise, right? Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but... Saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. Ah, uh, you're exaggerating. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? Uh... Apparently we actually didn't steal the treasure. Like, your palace was still there, like... Even when I got arrested and I shit? suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. Okay, I wanted to reform the system. But I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Hey! I'm a free man now. Hey, you kept me waiting. Hey, Jeez. Dad. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. Fuck you. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. Shall we? Good use of blinker. not moving at all. Oh, God damn, this is just like the this is just like the first episode. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? Fucking 10 months ago. Oh uh, yeah. It's almost been a whole year since then. <laughs> Thinking back, I was pretty awful to you throwing you in that storage room all by yourself and again soon you're gonna be yeah I'm gonna be dipping I guess some great friends here you better thank them when we get back all right why am I cutscene hmm it seems like a few days since I was last here Ah, it's bright. Woohoo! Namaste! Sup, lads? <laughs> Whoa! You did it! 
It has been a while. Christ. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. Hey, kitty. So we meet again. Hey, where's Samira? It's good to see you. I'm back, bitches. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Now we're only missing one last person. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm Hell guessing yeah. she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Hey. Senpai. Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Except for Ketchy. Come on, Sumire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone, but then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. Took you long enough, Jesus Christ. Sorry, man. We were trying real hard, you know. I know. They treated you fine, right? Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I have heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. I need some McDonald's. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Yes, I've been missing Sojiro's coffee and curry. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate. <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh, it was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon, just to hang in there. Oh yeah, uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from boss, you're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? I want Sure we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? God damn it. What's the matter? We were all so, so excited Jiro, a me. moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Until Strikers. Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. Hey! He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into uh, a delinquent. God damn it. The, the next spinoff is just like gonna be Joker just going back to his hometown and Morgana's just gonna be like telling him to go to sleep. I've never been a delinquent, dickhead. Really? Either way. I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! Hey, Dad. Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat! <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like. Mm. <clears throat> this 
is delicious! <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up! I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? I like to do that. It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You little... <laughs> Why don't you go disappear again? <sighs> Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, hilarious. not fighting! They're at it again. You guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! Uh, well, I guess we still have a happy ending. Hmm. Delicious food, fluffy sheets. I guess home is what you make of it even in this abandoned building of all places. Hey, take care of me like this back home too, okay? But seriously. So, uh, I want to ask you something. Remember the tail end of Maruki's palace when I was actually flying? That wasn't a dream, right? It sure wasn't. Nice. Yeah, I thought so. I still can't figure out how that was possible in the first place. So it's just a theory, but a game theory. Let me guess, um... Maruki's actualization. Don't you don't you still have the star Jose gave you? Oh Jose. Oh! Hey, it's Aw. It's lost its luster. This was shining the last time you looked at it, right? So it really was the effect of the star. Oh, well, of course it was, now that I think about it. There's no other way that the idea of a cat conferring to a helicopter could suddenly become a common cognition. Well, we're through with the metaverse, and it only happened in the most extreme of emergencies. So I have a feeling that won't be happening again anytime soon, until the Strikers! It's Futaba. Party's not over. Tomorrow's gonna be the real one. I have a gift too. Let's meet just the two of us. Maybe I won't respond. Nah, let's put time Futaba. Sure. Yay, I'll be invading your place tomorrow then. Time to make like a dream. Fuck off. Never change, do you? Come on, let's go to bed. God You're damn it. The shop from tomorrow onward, right? God damn it. Still tell me to go to bed. Inspirational TBH. Oh, we're at like 48% now. It's a big increase. They saved my ass, so yeah, every day's so boring. I don't care if it's crazy. I want chocolate. You're giving him chocolate. I made a resolution. Jesus Christ. So much crap. It's Valentine's Day. That means we have a Valentine's Day uh, date and shit. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Uh, there's even like a ribbon rack, rack, wrapped around the uh, month date and like some chocolate bars on the 14th. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole I year. I mean, I don't think you'll approve, you but... Know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yo. He's probably just like, well, fuck. <laughs> Look at his face. Still working? <laughs> He's like, oh shit. You didn't even bring me anything. Yep. <laughs> well, no. I, I know you told me, can you not get with uh, Futaba? Don't get wrapped up in the mood, you hear? <laughs> that Mona. I'll make you some coffee. Okay. Jeez, I don't know if it's because it's been a while, but I'm all self-conscious. You're adorable. Shut up! And hey, I gotta say something. I was so freaking scared when I found out you were gone. Like, actually serious freak-out panic attack scared. Sorry. You get one point of forgiveness. Yay. Sorry, but as your teammate, and, um, your girlfriend, I gotta ask, from now on, don't shut me out. Let me help when things get hard. Like dick. So, yeah, that's 
all the mushy stuff out of the way. Uh, okay. Uh, next up, we got... Chocolates! Ooh, you know, Morgana! Valentine's Day, I it's love it. Looks delicious. Shit, now I feel like a dick. Well, I'm going to tell from just looking at the box. But, you know, thanks. I literally, I, I kind of feel like a dick now. I don't got anything, but it is what it is, I guess. Futaba's chocolate. I guess we're back in the canon reality. <laughs> huh. Oh, I love that. Canon reality. Still, I think it was probably the right decision. It's still hard sometimes, but I'm making progress. I'll cheer you on. Thanks. I'm gonna beat this. Hey, can we sit? Together, I mean? Cup. You're going home next month, huh? That's sad. Will you miss me? Of course! Aw. But it's not like I'm gonna stop you. This is just me thinking out loud, but... I only wanted one thing when I joined the Phantom Thieves. To find out why my mom died. But now, I've got one more person to help. Not even as a Phantom Thief, either. It's not about rescuing him. It's about doing all I can to make him happy. Are you talking about me? <laughs> Probably some chump. I'm counting on you, okay? I spent a romantic evening with Futaba. Yep. Th this time we were making babies. The 15th. Perfect timing. You got a guest. Here we got. Oh, hey. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. What's a Guri Choco? You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. She just gave me chocolate too? Um, not at all, thank you. I'm the one who should be thanking you, so thank you. Well, look at this hot shot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done yeah, for I'm me. I'm craving chocolate. See you around. God damn it, I want chocolate now. Oh! Yo. I heard they finally turned you loose. I'm glad you're doing okay. I expected at least a phone call, though. Ah, uh, sorry. Anyhow, you're free, and that's worth celebrating. Am I getting everyone's Guri Choco? I was hoping I'd get a chance to hand this over, so this is good timing. You know how it was Valentine's Day yesterday? Um, yes. Uh, thanks. It's just a token of my appreciation, so don't go feeling guilty about not getting me anything. How about you consider it a sign of trust from one comrade to another? See ya! Okay, am I gonna get, like... Are gonna get like Gary Chalkos from every girl Morning. now? God damn it. We usually don't run into each other here, huh? Oh, yeah. This is for you. God damn it. I was going to give it to you at school, but as long as we're both here, have some chocolate. You know, for Valentine's Day. As friends. As friends. Close friends. I can't say lovers because I got I, I have a, I have a futaba. I'll be counting on you. Hey. Great timing. I was just headed to your classroom. Here, take this. It's chocolate. Think of it as a token of appreciation for all you do for us. I'll be sure to repay you. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be a big deal. See you again soon, okay? Hi, Samira. Oh, Senpai. Sorry, I didn't mean to ambush you like this, but this is yours, if you want it. Chocolate, a token of my appreciation and respect. Well, when I put it like that, it sounds a bit too intense. Thanks. Oh, please, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal at all. I 
just wanted to show you I really appreciate you putting up with me, and I hope that doesn't change. You are welcome. Alright, how many people are going to get fucked over at uh, Thorn School? Hello! Oh, there I go. I'm glad I caught you. I wanted to give you this. Man, everyone's going to be I thought it'd be best to wait until today. After all, if you got one from someone special, I wouldn't want to intrude. Imagine I get one from Futaba. You That'd always do hilarious. so much for me. This is the least I could give in return. Thanks. Of course. We should get coffee again sometime, too. Just let me know when you're free. I'm free all the time. I've got Phantom Thief stuff to do anymore. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm glad I got to see you. I'm relieved you're safe. She literally just, like, walked over from her school to here. On that note, I have a small gift for the occasion. If you'll accept it. Apparently these days, people give chocolate to friends. Even when it's purely platonic. Seems like a fine opportunity to celebrate your return. And express my gratitude. Uh, thanks. I hope Shogi brings us even closer together. Hello there. I knew you'd be here. Of course. Oh, I don't mean I've been watching you. I just read your fortune. Now that that's cleared up, please take this. It's to celebrate your freedom. And to say thanks for everything you do. <laughs> I'm just saying the same if thing over and over again. If you ever need my power again, all you have to do is ask. I feel like I don't even... I didn't even start timer. I just thought we'd be hitting the ending already. Jesus... The longer this plays out, I might have to do another episode. I'll always be happy to help you. What the fuck, bro? Welcome back. I wasn't sure I'd even see you, but I guess this is good timing. Here, take this. Figured you deserved a little appreciation. As friends. <laughs> Who knows? Don't get your hopes up. Sounds like you've been through a lot. It's kind of a relief to see you're the same as ever. Remember, I'm pretty close by if you ever come down with something. Call whenever you need to. See you later then. I know it's sudden, but I... could you watch the store? I gotta head out for a bit. Think you can keep an eye on things? Oh, were you working? Sorry to distract you. I... I thought I'd stop by on the way home from work. Partly so I could give you this. You've done so much for me, after all. I wanted to say thanks. Oh, and I didn't get to say it at work, but welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, right. I whipped up a little study guide for the classwork you missed. It should cover most of the important stuff. If you're still having trouble with any of it, you can always ask me, okay? I'm your teacher. That's my job. Anyway, I'll see you at school. Thank you. Of course. Oh. Hey, everyone free after school tomorrow? Should be available. Why? Something I want to talk about. Think we call me up at LeBlanc? Can you check if Boss is free too, Mason? Sure. That works for me. Me too. I can head over once school's finished. I'll get here too. Likewise. <laughs> then let's all head there when we can. Yes, you guys there. Ryuji wants to talk? Something happened with him. I don't even know how long I've been recording for. Can I at least get like a chance to see how long I've been recording for? Damn it. This is why I should always make timers. You sure you want me hanging around? I I can step out for a bit if you like. Oh, there's no Samira. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. God damn it. I'm Not you too, bro. It's just a hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future and how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility, get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick Aww. off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. On? 
Actually, I've got some Are news you moving too. away too? I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest God move damn it, for my everyone's, career. Is everyone moving so, away? You're moving too. I mean, I know those two bitches over there got college coming up. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own. Starting next month. Yep, college. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Aww. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. Hell yeah! I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Can you say something else? Oh, just that. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. We'll always be connected. Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? Yeah. No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training uh, camp so right now. Ah, that's why she's not here. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Oh, that. Is that a newspaper clipping? It's about. Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article. It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family uh, was murdered. So that was his treasure. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. I love you, Dad. Thank you. Oh yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? <laughs> Whatever you guys want. Woohoo! Oh, great yeah. cheese! Grab a Are we sushi? lucky? Uh, happy endings. Alright, now what? Hello, Senpai. Sorry for messaging you so late. I just want to send you this picture from our first shrine visit of the year. Aww. That takes me back. I fucking love that. I know, it's already been two months. I've got a lot of mixed feelings about this picture, I guess. That's supposed to be me there, but it just isn't. It makes me realize how buried I was in Kasumi's identity. But you changed now. Right, I'm not gonna run away anymore. Actually, there's one more photo I want you to see. Oh, goddamn. It's kind of embarrassing, but this is a photo my coach took of me. The real me, I guess. Training is tough, and it's really hard sometimes, but I feel like I'm finally moving forward in my life. I'll support you. 
When you tell me these things, I feel like I can take on the whole world and make our dream come true. And I'll do this myself, not as Kasumi. I'll climb all the way to the top of the gymnastics world. So could you keep watching over me until then? Of course. Oh gosh, I'm terrible for some reason. Falling part of the slightest thing. I guess that means I really am back to being Samiri, huh? Oh, my break's over. I gotta get back to training. Talk to you later. Samiri's so standing on her own two feet now. We'll fight for our goals, too. Ten days later. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Are you ready for tomorrow? Uh, what? <laughs> White day. That's tomorrow, right? What's White Day? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. Mm, get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Uh, a little Listen bit of up, both, actually. And I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Oh, shit. That'd be great. Whoa. The chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. Yeah, date some fucking cat. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Okay. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Yeah, this is boring. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait, what? Uh, I'm screwed. <laughs> like, I'm fucking. Oh, damn it. I don't usually do this, but I know a place. <laughs> Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing. Chief has connections. So once you're at dinner. You get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. What's going on outside? Oh, that's smart. It's like a big ass truck right across the street. Flowers, the bill. <laughs> give her the bill, now the flowers. Good. You were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. I don't even know what you said. What's our dinner? Are you getting to yourself? That's when you give her the bill. <laughs> that ought to do it. Pretty funny. Just follow the yeah, plan. Yeah, bitch, you gotta pay safe. for this. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Got it. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. What the fuck do I call? You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant chief told you about? Not really. Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? Uh, dinner for two tomorrow? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the chief. Um, I'm a, uh, I'm a friend of Soji or Sakura. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. That you wanted easy. a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang, the chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you Perfect. just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Man, how much 
much events going on. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. I think there was a florist in that underground passage in Shibuya. God damn, I thought we were gonna like go. Okay, perfect. Oh, thank God. <laughs> no one more catchy. That's sad. Well, at least we still got our personas and shit. Might as well check out the um the chocolates we just got. Restores 100 SP, restores 100 SP, 100 SP, 100 SP, 100 SP, 100 SP, 100 SP. 100 SP. <laughs> Fully restores SP of one ally. Well, damn. Well, as much as I want to continue on, I'll just add this. I'll just add this. Well, so much for this episode being the finale. Well, I guess next episode might be the finale. I don't know if the next episode's gonna be the finale or not. I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, lads.